Welcome everyone, this is my buddy Mike. This is my buddy Tom. Together we make poor decisions. So, what's the lineup today, Aaron? Today we have single barrel whiskeys. We have Four Roses, Dickel, 1917-92, John J. Bowman, and Blanton's. <clears throat> All right, this should be interesting. Some <coughs> really hard to find bottles and some really off the, easy off the shelf ones right. to see. See which ones are better. Right, 1792 is a barrel pick too, or a store pick. It is a barrel <coughs> pick, yeah, store pick. All right, a right, hey. tasting notes. It smells like just a lot of alcohol. Yeah, I'm just getting alcohol off right off the bat, but. I already tasted it. A little caramel. I cheated. <laughs> you know, it's like the normal. You know, you got a little bit of leather, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of something. <clears throat> We're just, um, it's not oh, bad. I'm a lot of like caramel notes in there too. Like on the smell or the taste? On the taste. I jumped the gun on that. All right, let's see. Um, really good though. I like that. I'm getting like a lot of cherry and orange on that. So everybody's palate is <clears throat> different, so yeah. Let's see what B We're just gonna pick. We're just gonna order these yeah. how we like them from okay. least favorite <clears throat> to favorite. Hmm, okay. That's I'm, different. Very different notes. And I got absolutely nothing. I'm getting like a dusty note on it. Yeah, I mean it's not nearly as strong as that one. And the flavor is a little bit um, flat, may I say? You know, it's not yeah. as uh, <clears throat> got some dickle notes in there, I think. Hey, what you do with your dickle, you keep that to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> see what C. Ooh, very nice nose. Getting I'm like getting leather, caramel. I'm uh, getting some fruit in there too, but I, I don't know. Um, Something else in there too. I can't quite place it. It's hard when we're like running these uh, back to back to back. <coughs> oh, there's like a, some Ooh. chocolatey thing going on there. So yeah. it's, it kind of tastes like a, like the cocoa powder. You know, that, that, that you make like a hot chocolate with a Hershey's powder? S seems like something's going on with that. <clears throat> I'm like getting like a, more like a minerality kind of flavor in there. Like a metal kind of taste in, like a in there? Like metallic, mineral. <clears throat> kind we don't of. have any of that AP, mm. whatever. No AP comedy today. No. <laughs> hey, we, we just, we're not fans. <clears throat> yeah, and we're... We're probably gonna be our thing to just rag on them in every show <laughs> until they until we get a letter from the lawyer. So that would definitely be a poor decision. <clears throat> Forget how hard these wines are. It's <clears throat> yeah. Which one's better than the other one? And which one do you like? Because I get to a point, and this one seems a little less proofy than the other ones. I agree. <clears throat> you know, so this might be an 80. I think the lowest one is 90, 93. Ooh. That was a great nose. Yeah, and um, good flavor. You know, there's a lot of like the apricot and the, the again, the fruity, and then maybe a little bit of vanilla. So mm, that's fantastic. That mm. is. <clears throat> and how do I, I like to go it? Back and taste these again. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, B seems to be my least favorite. Yeah, I was getting a weird minerality in that one, I think. Right. And um, 
like a like almost a malty <coughs> kind of flavor, but we don't really have anything too malty here today. No. It's um. There's the chocolatey one. <clears throat> I'm not gonna say I like that one as much or different, but I, I know B is like my my least favorite out of this group so far. I think I know my favorite right now. A, have you, have you I'm going going back to A, like right? the nose on it is just really off-putting. Off-putting? Yeah, I don't know what they're, but the flavor is good. These are always tough. They are. I like the chocolatey. That being my favorite. C. C is your favorite? D. Okay. No, C. C is my favorite. <clears throat> B and D are my two bottoms right now. That's weird. I got B and It's kind of weird. B and C are my bottom to you. <clears throat> I think E is my favorite. I think she is. <clears throat> One, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna have a weird line up here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go C, E, A, B, D. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go <coughs> E, A, D, C, B. All right, so what'd we do? Well, how'd we pick? Well, <coughs> what's your bottom? My, one? my bottom was D. D. What's your left next one? B. B. Let's see what B is. That was my least favorite. B. Tommy has your least favorite. Also came down low on Mike's radar. It's the 1792. Makes sense. That's not my favorite bottle <coughs> there. It's a it's a single barrel barrel pick. It's about a fifty dollar bottle. Um, let's go. What's your bottom? I'm trying to frame. D? My bottom one was D. Let's go. Let's see what your D was. D is Blanton's. Interesting. <coughs> it's over there. <clears throat> okay. So far, I yeah, kind of not surprised. <clears throat> Here's the other thing: is like these are all great bottles, you know. Like you can't yeah. go wrong with any of these. Nothing is gonna be. You know, like the rock gut stuff that you drank in college, you know, because everything's 50 to $70. So, yeah, very similar <clears throat> price. You know, and, and, you know, the Blantons, if you could find it um, and you can get it at, you know, MSRP is $65. It's, it's, uh, again, it's a, it's a good bourbon. Okay, who's next? Can I make a guess? Can I guess on B? <clears throat> I want to I wanna guess that B is the Dickel. I think B is no. the B was 1792. Oh, we already did B, sorry. Yes. Your favorite, Tommy, and Mike's second pick <coughs> was E, e. and that is the Four Roses. It's such a good bottle. It really is. And you can find that anywhere. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see what this is gonna I should take notes. We should. <laughs> <laughs> but that would mean we have to be organized or whatever. <coughs> We can't do that. And as Mike's first pick and Tommy's fourth, it was glass C and that was Dickel. All right. So the Dickel's really chocolatey. Yep. <clears throat> it happens to be my yeah, bottle. Which one was that? C? C. Yeah, that's the one that was getting the minerality kind of flavor. And I was getting like a really chocolatey thing from it. Almost like a multi note to it. All right. And rating fairly high at second and third in glass A is the John J. Bowman. Great bottle. I'm surprised that wasn't first. I think it was second for me. I think mine was Four Roses, Bowman. Uh, what was D? Blanton's for you? <coughs> yeah. Three. 
Ben Blanton's and then 1792. <coughs> If I had to, that's really close to what I would have guessed. Like that, that's one of my favorite bottles. This is a favorite bottle. This was a surprise. Flipping this <coughs> to you, but yeah, oh, pretty interesting. Very interesting. So when I was in the army, I had a soldier. <coughs> he, um, they, they, they came to us on, on, on Wednesday or Thursday. And the next day we were um, going on a road march <coughs> out of the dining facility so, uh, for, for PT. And this kid was supposed to meet us there at six o'clock in the morning. You know, we got him the night before and we were like, all right, we're going on a road march for PT. You know, we need your rucksack with 35 pounds. We're gonna, you know, BDUs, which was just uh, the regular fatigue uniform, you know, boots and, um, you know, soft cap. And, you know, we're gonna walk a few miles and, you know, get some exercise. <clears throat> so six o'clock came and this kid's nowhere to be found. So I sent somebody up to knock on his door, you know, cause usually like the new kids sleep in, not, you know, brand new E1 private, straight out of, you know, basic AIT and the airborne school. So he, um, nobody answers the door. <clears throat> so I'm like, all right, go over to the CQ, get the keys, we're opening the door, right? And we checked the bathroom first, open the door, <clears throat> you know, his room was perfectly made up, bed made, boots were lined up, door, wall locker was closed and locked, you know, and then we shook the wall locker to make sure one of his buddies didn't lock him in his wall locker. He's in there sleeping. <coughs> it's a thing, right? So then he, um, no, he's not in there, right? You oh, know, he's he not. Wasn't in there. Nope, okay. he wasn't hanging from the shower head. Nothing. He wasn't in the bathroom. Wasn't in the toilet. We're like, where the hell is he? So we, <coughs> next course of action was we called the MPs and the hospital to make sure that he wasn't in there. Then we called the bus station, make sure that he wasn't there, you know? So now everybody's taken off now and they're, they're going on their walk and I'm looking for this kid, <clears throat> right? So then we're freaking out. We're like, okay, we're, we lost a new kid. So then at about 11 or 30, 11 o'clock, here he comes with his rucksack on, tootling up to the tree. And I'm like, Cutler, where the fuck have you been? And he goes, road march, Sarn. And I'm like, what the heck do you mean? Like we met here at six o'clock, we never saw you, right? You know, like who'd you go? He goes, well, I thought I'd come early and I went with these guys, and you know, and I thought that that's what I was supposed to do. And I'm like, which guys? And he pointed. So then I went over and I saw my friend Harold and I'm like, Harold, what's going on? He goes, hey Mike, that, that kid you sent with us this morning like kicked ass. And I'm like, really? And I'm like, he said, um, yeah, we, um, we went 18 miles and um, he, he, he kept up with us and, 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 and smoked us on some sections, you know? And so this kid's a cook and he went out with a special forces A team, 18 miles, instead of going four miles with the cooks. Wow. <laughs> you know? And so like, I can't be mad at him. I can't yell at him. I'm like, go take a shower, put on a new uniform, come back downstairs, you know? And <laughs> we're gonna, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna like introduce you to everybody else. So that was, uh, again, a poor decision on his part but um, definitely an interesting time for us. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it's kind of kind of nice when somebody <laughs> surprises you like that. Yeah. They can do, you know. Oh, that kid was dumber <clears throat> than a bag of hammers. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm honest. <clears throat> but that's just how it goes. All right, everybody. Hey, thanks. Um, please like, share, and subscribe, and give us a thumbs up. Ring the bell. You know, all those things uh, help our channel out. You know, with more. Uh, um, things and then uh, we can make some more content and drink a lot of bourbon. I mean, we obviously we're buying all this shit now, but um, you know, and we're happy to do that and, and, and tell you what we think of it. And uh, we're gonna take you on this journey with us, um, you know, as we're, as we're doing it. So and, um, thanks for coming. And don't forget <coughs> to comment below with your poor decisions because we, we could use some more examples from you guys out there. All right, awesome, <laughs> appreciate it. Thanks guys. Cheers.